Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Jace Brown. I'm one of the A-Specs coaches for the Austin Silver Investment Group. And today, we're going to be recapping my trade that I had on Tuesday, your JPY, give you guys an analysis of what I was looking at before, you know, what was my bias throughout the whole day, and you know, why I like the trade and how I executed it. So let's get started. So hey guys, this is EuroJPY on the 15 minute chart. So this is Tuesday, I'm be, as you can see here, um, I put all the drawings out, but um, this is exactly what I was looking at without no drawings, well, no, I guess no indications of a setup. So we turn on our drawings and this is basically what we were seeing, all right? So um, we had the Asian range right over here and then we had basically our setup that happened right over here. So um, as you can see, turn off the drawings, the liquid 50 was up in the buy zone the whole day. Um, the EMAs were bullish as well. So that was a really good indication to, you know, for a long bias. Um, so for me, whenever I woke up in the morning, I was looking for longs specifically here um, and toward the 50 EMA right over here, which is the, the blue line. And so I was looking for longs. Um, I did a higher time frame analysis. So making sure like, what are the probabilities of this trade going in my favor for, for longs? So with my top down analysis, I have my own system of grading it. And for the one hour, it's long bias. I graded it as an A setup. The four hour long bias, perfect long bias. I, I graded it as an A setup. And then the one daily long bias, but the EMAs long term are, you know, counter trend against, you know, what price action is doing and what the short term EMAs are doing as well. So I kind of put it as a B setup um for that but overall it was a really good kind of a top-down analysis grading system where um it was all a a b setups so typically having an a a b grade means it's, it's a really good setup and it's a really high probable setup so i really like this trade 100 percent and so um we saw that jpy was bullish i was looking at uz jpy mostly i was like okay so it looks like we're looking for longs today on uz jpy um so i went toward the other pairs euro jpy and jp jpy and i liked euro jpy a lot because um it just you know it was a perfect setup for me you know liquid 50 was in the buy zone emas were bullish and price action was holding toward that level that i'm typically want to see price go toward at and hopefully wait for d1 entry we saw a D1 signal present off the 50 EMA on the one minute chart. So if you look right over here, we see um, price action is falling and, you know, RSI is rising. So that is bullish divergence for us. So um, looks like bullish divergence formed right over here and created a bullish divergence zone too as well. And so basically I was looking for long. Where I would have entered on the D1 would have been right over here with my um, stop all the way down toward the recent pin low. I was just basically looking for where the D1 were. I was gonna enter off the first break with the 50 and I looked at, oh, it's making higher lows from right over here, higher low, higher low and higher low. So as you can see right over here, we could see that price action makes a higher low right over here. Price action makes another higher low right over here and another higher low. So I would have entered once we saw a break of the 50 right over here, and putting my stop right at this recent higher low. So once we saw that, I saw price action, you know, go all the way up, bounce right over here. And this is basically what I liked about this trade. Um, so I, I like that we're making higher lows and the D1 entry was making higher lows. So for me, what I wanted to do since I wasn't able to enter right over here, I wanted to have kind of a risk to reward trade, you know, having my stop loss as small as possible. And, you know, the liquid 50 was rising as we see in the one minute liquid 50, which is the blue line is rising up to the buy zone. So that for me is, you know, a really high probable trade telling me that the liquid 50 is pulling price action all the way up. We also saw that the 50 minute RSI crossed through TL, which is another um, significant factor whenever I'm trading a D1. So for me, I like this. I like that we're making higher lows right over here. I like how the liquid 50 was rising as well. And so for me, whenever I saw kind of like a bullish momentum off this higher low, as we can see with this momentum right over here, um, we saw a big kind of push all the way up. I assumed that, you know, we were we were making that higher low and we're going to continue going up. So that's what I assumed. So I risked about around around four and a half pips on this trade. And so I put my stop all the way down toward the low right over here. Um, I didn't put it right over here toward the pin low. So I put my stop right over here, risking about four and a half pips around that. There is bearish divergence right over here, as you can see. Um, you know, we had this little like bearish divergence zone. So I was a little bit careful with that. I did enter a little bit smaller than usual just because I saw that bearish divergence in zone right over here. So for me, like I just waited a little bit more until I finally saw the breakout, you know, with, with extremely a lot of bullish momentum, as you can see right over here. I added in the rest of my position once we broke over here and just basically went all the way up with a lot of momentum. And as you can see here, um, with this entry that I had overall, it was 9R, which was, you know, me risking four pips to make 25 pips. So um, a really good risk to reward um, when it goes all the way up. And as you can see here with this text box, I put on the entry, entry off the recent higher low, which is right over here. 
and the 50 liquid 50 was in a buy zone so the one minute liquid 50 was in a buy zone the 50 minute rsi through tl was an extra confirmation for me and so you know the higher time frames were almost perfect perfectly biased toward my direction and i graded it as a b setup um it goes about 8r um i risked about 0.90 percent overall um because of the tight stop and then as well as i closed about two and a half percent on this trade but i, I believe that i did get stop out eventually um, so I closed in about, I think, 2.75%, if I'm not mistaken. I'll take it on to you guys later if, if that's correct. But um, really good trade. I just kept closing out once we saw good risk reward. Um, I think I, I closed a little bit over here as well as I saw bearish divergence pulling in. So I closed somewhere over here as well. And eventually I got stopped out right over here for the rest of my position. Um, but yeah, really good trade. I actually caught this on a live stream. So if you guys were watching my live stream, you guys would have caught this trade as well. But yeah, so... Overall, this is a really good trade in my books. I was just trying to ride the momentum of JPY Paris on that specific morning. And as you can see here, it worked out really well. Um, you know, with this initial G1 right over here, we saw that price was making higher lows and as well as the liquid 50 rising like that beautifully. And on the 50 minute, it was just a really beautiful trade. As you can see here, we came from the Asia high toward this zone right over here. And then we came all the way down toward the 50, made a higher low off the 15 minute chart and you know, continue going upward. So as you can see here, price was making higher lows from right over here. It was holding the 50, making higher lows, as you can see right over here, holding the 50 holding the 50 and holding the 50. So um, beautiful D1 trade right over here. I just loved it a lot. It was a really clean trade. Um, I was able to have such a really tight stop loss just because of that momentum was kicking in. And I anticipated that momentum as well as, you know, having the probabilities toward my side with the higher time frames being toward my side and as well as the shorter time frames as well. And as you can see here, it went all the way up to the resistance one pivot and it literally bounced from right over here, um, as well as this bearish divergence right over here as well, and came all the way down and just basically came lower for the rest of the day. So overall, a really awesome trade to start off the week, and basically just gonna be consistent with these winners, being consistent with the most high probable setups, because that's what's important for me. It's not about catching one big trade, it's about trading these kind of setups consistently every single day or every single week, and just making money from it and being a consistent trader. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like below. If you have any questions or anything like that, let me know, as well as we have the ASFX sale that is going on right now, 20% off worldwide all the site you know whether it's the ace effects beginners course or the advanced course if you guys are interested link in description as well as direct message me on instagram i'll be more than happy to hook you guys up in my team all right thank you so much guys and i'll see you guys later all right Bye.